Hey guys, and this video is going to be about five ways to save money on low income. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my frugal life, especially my new subscribers. So let's get started. So if you don't have a big income, even though you work a lot, sometimes spending more on something than you really have to might mean that you don't have money left for your bills or things that are really required like four walls like place to live and food and uh, car to get to and from work and things like that so number one the most expensive thing in most people's lives I mean spending budget every month is their housing because I mean you gotta have a place to live especially if you have family um, you have to have something house apartment or something um, while it could be cheaper like you know like every month for right now to rent for some people especially if uh, you're just like one person but in the long run because if you still gonna depends how old you are if you think you're still gonna live longer than like 30 40 years in the long run It'll, it's cheaper to actually own the house and because when you buy a house at the time when you know because everything increased in prices like over the years so if you bought your house let's say 10 20 years ago the prices were not as big as as they are now so whatever you know because even the wages the paychecks were a lot smaller 10 20 years ago than they are now but because you paid whatever you paid for your house back then maybe it was a lot but in today's money it's not as much so if you bought your house for this much uh, money 10 20 years ago right now you still um you're paying on that amount and once you paid off your monthly outgoing for your housing will be even shorter I mean even uh, smaller and also like your utilities uh, like I said in many of my videos try to live in a place where your utilities are not big like we have our own water well and our own septic that so we don't have the water bill or the um, septic bill we do have to have trash bill which is like you have to even you don't if, even when you don't have a lot of trash so yeah but um also we're able to uh use firewood for heating so that's gonna that offsetting some of our um gas uh, like for the heating bill so that helps a lot too so, but there are places where people ca cannot have any of that so whenever you're choosing a place to live whether um renting or buying especially buying try to choose it uh, in a way where your utility bills will not be high another way to save money whether you have low or high income is to stop wasting your money on the interest you know if you have debt and you are paying interest on it every month this is the money you're just throwing away um, so if you cannot pay it off right now um depending what kind of debt is it you might be able if you have a good credit score you might be able to get a card with zero percent for sometimes you can get zero percent for six months or a year and try to transfer some of it uh to that so for uh that period of time you pay less interest especially if you're paying like 20 percent interest on your credit card that's that's a really <laughs> that's i mean imagine how many hours you have to work every month just to pay for that interest and if your income is low that's a huge uh you know that's a huge um chunk of your income just wasting so yeah even though i don't have any debt besides mortgage and never had any ever uh maybe that's why i didn't have it because throwing money on interest is just a huge waste of money okay number three the easy way to s waste less money when you're on low income is to not spend any, spending any money on uh, the entertainment i mean lots of people just go in places like uh, restaurants or shopping or i mean i don't know how they have time for all this i mean what when i do have time i I am I actually do have time sometimes just because I'm too tired to do anything and all all I can possibly do is just uh, you know collapse on the couch and watch some YouTube or something or I just try to go to sleep early but you know entertainment is just a 
waste of uh, money for me unless you can get free entertainment which is like you can get dvds from the library or watch youtube for free or if you actually do have time you might want to take a walk or something but you know like just going to a restaurant for a meal imagine how many hours you have to work to pay for it i mean you might be able to spend less hours in the kitchen to cook than it takes the um time for you to work but of course for some people it might be easier to work at work than um you know spending two hours at work than spending two hours in the kitchen but it also depends what kind of job you have you have if you have a job that you're just not you know getting tired much yeah but some people have jobs that they actually get you know have to use their muscle and um you know (laughs) It depends. I would rather just cook something so I don't have to uh, spend money on eating out because, especially because, you know, like you're spending your after tax money, the af- after the cost of transportation to get to work money, you know, and um, and w- when you're going to a place to eat, um, you also, it's like you're paying for their rent and electricity and their services too so it's like why do that while you also paying for um your electricity and the utilities and rent or mortgage at home right number four easy way to save money is to not replace things just because you you decided to replace them for no reason <laughs> like some people do just oh just because we had it for a long time it's time to replace it uh if your fridge or dishwasher or other appliances if they still work good like my like my fridge is 12 years old now so it's it's old but it's working <laughs> my stove and um dishwasher they were in the house when we bought bought it 12 years ago and that time they were old already because i had a hard time to like washing it off and cleaning and there are some spots where it doesn't wash off there are some spots where i try to scrubbing it too hard and i actually you can see that somebody was scrubbing it and made some kind of like scratches yeah but those things still work even though my oven doesn't always work good they still work and i would not want to because i could have like by suggestion of some people that they said you should replace this you should replace that i would have spent like thousands of dollars years ago already on the things that are still in good condition and working right now you know it's they're still working whether and the la- the longer you wait to replace them the longer that new thing will um serve you so the longer you you have to wait to replace the next thing so you but by, by the end of uh your life by replacing the, those things less often um you can save thousands and thousands of dollars the easy way to save money number five and this is the most the one that I'm the most excited about is like to skip a week of grocery shopping. If you normally shop once a week, try to skip one week and then let's say you're spending like $70 a week for groceries. And if you skip this week and just uh, try to use up whatever you have at home uh, to stretch it to next week, here you go, you save $70 or whatever your weekly grocery amount. You know, you, you just saved it for doing absolutely nothing by just using what you have but also i hear that some people who like who who really like struggling with like money um they end up buying like a smaller size of toilet paper smaller size of this and when you buy a smaller size of smaller size package of something it usually costs more per unit than if you buy like a big one um and especially if you can wait for the sale because sometimes um people just run let's say i run out of toilet paper and i have to have it like i have to buy it this week and this week it might not be on sale anywhere and i end up paying it like a regular price on like a four roll little package you know that wouldn't last too long but like when you have some money that you saved up for stockpiling or for buying bigger um 
you know, if you skip the week of shopping, you have money of, that you can use for stockpiling when something goes on sale, so you don't have to buy it the week after that when it's not on sale. And also you can buy bigger packages of things that are cheaper per unit. It's the same thing, it's just because you're buying a bigger package, it ends up being cheaper per unit. So, but this way you can save money in the long run, and this way you can always have a supply of things in your... Um, house so maybe a few months later you can skip another week of shopping and save even more money this way so no matter how much you're trying to cut your budget on your low income uh sometimes you can't really cut things off completely you can you cannot just like spend zero on food or zero on utilities right um you still have to spend something so it's very important to try to increase your um income at the same time if you have a already have full-time job uh try to maybe have uh, you see if you can get some overtime hours or if you can get some um other side job or something something that can bring in more money because you can only cut down this much but you know like if you're only making let's say a thousand dollars a month no matter how much how frugal you are how much you're trying to cut stuff if your rent or mortgage is like almost that much you you cannot just uh you know have all your needs met and still have some money to save up it's just not possible so um increasing your income is um just as important as trying to spend less thank you guys for watching i hope this video will help you to save more money even if your income is not high and i mean even if you think your income is good, this will still uh, help you save some money and um, have, have some savings for your goals that you're trying to save up for. And if you think that uh, I'm forgetting what I'm talking about, it, you might be right because I'm just too tired and yeah, I have to make this video. I'll make I'll blah, blah, blah <laughs> while I'm waiting for my daughter from her art class. So, and it's getting dark. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.